<laughs> Hi guys, you ready for a grocery haul? It's Friday and I just finished, well, I finished earlier grocery shopping. I think we should start right here. Look at what I got. These white pumpkins are my favorite. And it's weird because when I was younger, I used to think the white pumpkins were so stupid. Pumpkins are supposed to be orange. But now I just really like them. And I got some of these just regular mini orange pumpkins. Very cute. So, let's see. We have mushrooms. They had a bunch of the mini pies marked down. So they were like $1.50. Some of them were 99 cents. This one was $1.50. It's a blueberry pie. These are very neat. I've never seen these before. And I found them at Big Lots. And it's this caramel wafer and you put it over your cup of tea or coffee. Either one. Very neat. They were 33 cents a piece. Can you guys see that? It goes over the coffee or tea and it melts the caramel. It, it just seems really, really like a good idea. <laughs> This is something new. This is by Russell Stover. Stover? Stover? How do you say it? I got it for Dave to try. It's a crunchy peanut butter uh, bar. Here's a buck. We've got some apple juice. I found these at Big Lots too for $1.75. Good deal. Asparagus. I love asparagus. We got some bananas. From the farm stand I got three tomatoes and two cucumbers. This is new. I've never seen these. This is by Sunmade. I got these at Big Lots too for $1.90. And it's oatmeal raisin apple cookies. And that sounds so good to me. Let's uh, try one out, why don't we? Why don't we try one out? I haven't seen these in the regular grocery store. Unless they're just coming out because of fall, because of the apple in it. I really don't know. They sound good. Oh, and they're adorable. Look it. <laughs> oh. For some reason, I expected them to be soft. I'm totally talking with the cookie in my mouth. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. I expected them to be soft. Well... They're good. Um, they're not like amazing or anything, but they're good. You can't have this. It has raisins in it. Okay. Uh, two things of garlic. This is new by this brand. I really like this brand too. They have all kinds of stuff. But this is a blueberry swirl crumb cake. Or you can make muffins with it. That yeah, looked good. And it was on sale for $1.69. Which is good because this brand's a little bit, it's usually a little bit more. Old fashioned molasses cookies. Love these. Got these at Big Lots too. These are soft cookies. And these came from Big Lots too. I think that's it from Big Lots. But these are just uh, shortbread cookies with a little bit of strawberry in the middle. And everybody here likes them so. I get these big boxes when they have them at Big Lots. It's a big box. Let me see. I don't know how many are in it. Let's open it up and check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine. I don't know. Eight or nine. And they're three dollars. I got a bag of potatoes from the farm stand. They, their potatoes are so good. They're just, I don't know, they're different than the grocery store. Maybe because they're just picked or something. I think I told you guys this already. Some chicken. I make chicken salad with this. Or chicken salad uh, sandwiches, I should say. 
some onion bagels. This is new for the season. It's a apple Danish twist. I thought Dave and Justin would like that. This is the Entenmann's thing. They're extremely overpriced. Um, I mean, they're really good, but at fall time they come out with, you know, the fall type of flavors, so. It has real apples in it. It looks very good, actually. Let's see, we have some spray butter. Well, fake butter. Oil. This is um, vegetable and canola oil mixed. Some vegetable stock. Jasmine rice. I got three bags of this. I don't know where the heck the other two are. I think this is one of my favorites. It's just the Uncle Ben's and you just um, open it up a little bit and put it in the microwave and it's just very good. Creamy garlic shells. These are one of my favorites. This is that Stacy's brand and they're pita chips. The flavor is Garden Veggie Medley and they're so good. Especially dipped in onion dip. Very good. Rolls for cheeseburgers. Italian dressing. Some meat sauce. These are new. Actually, I showed these in one of my vlogs a while back. I don't know. They came out a couple months ago. But Kraft came out with all these different new flavors of macaroni and cheese. And this one is cheesy Southwest Chipotle. And this one is buffalo cheddar. They look good. I actually got these for a friend of mine to send to him. Because um, he asked for them. So we'll have to ask him how they are. Um, iceberg lettuce. Some carrots. Well, a whole big bag of carrots. Apple cider. We need to make some apple cider. And these are the new juices that V8's been coming out with. We tried um, peach strawberry last time and everybody liked it. So I had a coupon for two of them. So I got the two and then an extra one. This is the V8 V Fusion. It's very good. This one is pineapple strawberry. These ones are all new. We haven't tried these flavors. This is black cherry apple. And this one is tangerine passion fruit. I bet that is very good. Uh, let me put some of this stuff away and I'll be back. Alright, let's see what else we have here. We have another bottle of V8. This is the V8 Splash. Uh, it's like a fruit punch, kind of. Brooke likes this one. Those come in 64 ounce bottles. These new ones I'm in 14 ounce. So, another package of the creamy garlic shells. And here's the rest of the jasmine rice. Yummy. I have two packages of this sausage flavor country gravy. This is by McCormick. We're having country fried chicken one of the days this week for dinner, so, well, next week. So this is the gravy that I use for it. Have some Florentine egg beaters. It's just um, spinach. Eggs and spinach. Well, egg beaters and spinach. These are new. I was excited about these. I like anything blueberry, like blueberry pie, blueberry cake. These are... These are by Pillsbury, and they're new. They're the regular, you know, biscuits that they have, but blueberry. So, they look good. Yummy. They were $1.50 for eight of them, the big ones. So I thought that was pretty good, that we would give them a try. This is new. This is banana split jello pudding. Sounds good. I thought somebody would like it. I have a big container of the Dannon Vanilla Yogurt. 
cream cheese. This is the cream cheese we always buy because it's a little better with the sodium and cholesterol. So well, that's why we buy that. Black olives. You know, I used to buy the black olives in the can, just the regular canned black olives. And they started tasting weird for some reason. So we started buying these and they're really good. They're not, well, they're two bucks and what, medium. And there's a pretty good amount in here too. We have some turkey ham. This I actually bought one week because it was on sale and I never heard of it or tried it. And we wound up really liking it. It's very good. I don't buy lunch meat a lot, but this was really good. It's by the brand Willowbrook. And it's turkey ham. It's good. Got some feta cheese. Yummy. This is pros and con. Oh, another coupon. I used one of these. It's the Green Giant con and the butter sauce. My family loves this stuff. But I don't give it to them that much. Usually we have the can con because this is, again, like the cream cheese, a lot of sodium in it. So, but because we're having country fried chicken, I got that for them to have with it because it's very good with that. Let me see. Some mozzarella cheese slices. We're having meatball subs one night. Uh, American cheese. Ooh. Have you guys ever tried this? So there's this restaurant called Uno's. And actually, I'm not really a big fan of it. None of us here are. But they have this potato skins. You know how you go in the store and you order appetizer and it's of potato skins and it's, you know, potato skins? Well, this is like a deep dish pizza. And it's called Pizza Skins. And it has potato... See, it has the pizza crust, then it has potato, cheese, and bacon. It's very good. So, the grocery store I go to, we just started carrying it. What's it say? Refrigerate or freeze? Hmm. Maybe we will uh, put it in the fridge so that we can have it tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Milk. Oh, jeez. String cheese. Same kind of that I always get. Then we have a bunch of meat here. And I was reading some comments the other day, and somebody asked if I could do a Trader Joe's haul soon, which I would love to do a Trader Joe's haul all the time, but it's kind of far from me, so I only get to go once in a while. But this might be the week that I go and pick up some vegetables, actually. So you might get to have a Trader Joe's haul. I wish we had one closer, but I shouldn't complain because it's, I mean, it's not that far. I think it's like 40 minutes or something. Okay, we have steak. This is the sirloin tip that I use for um, Italian marinated steak over garlic toast. Ham. These are ham steaks. This is the brand Letty's, Letty's. Sweet Italian sausage. We have a big package of hamburger. And a, another package of hamburger. Needed a lot of hamburger for next week. More ham. I got three. Oh no. Look at this. Son of a. Uh, one of the store brand hams was mixed in when I grabbed these. I just grabbed a couple of them and actually I looked at the back of them. Oh. Well, oh well. We got three hams. And the last thing. Oh. Oh, that was loud, huh? Come on. Uh, it's taking forever and it's not even exciting. Chicken. <laughs> Got everything. Let's see. 
yes that is everything all right guys that's my haul for this week i hope you enjoyed and if i make it out to trader joe's i will do another haul bye guys